Welcome to this tutorial. In this particular episode, we're going to look at using the ReadyBoost functionality within Windows Vista. And ReadyBoost allows us to use storage space on removable drives to speed up our computer. And we can use a variety of removable drives. We may wish to use a USB flash drive or alternatively possibly a memory card. In this particular example I'm going to lead you through using a SD memory card and in particular the memory card which I have is a 2 gigabyte memory card. So we'll go through the process of actually using Windows Ready Boost. To begin with I'm actually going to insert my SD memory card and if you're following this tutorial you may wish to insert your memory card or alternatively if you're using a USB flash drive you can insert that into a USB port right now. So once I actually insert the memory card you'll see that Windows recognizes the device and in this particular case you can see that we've been presented with an autoplay dialog box which indicates that this is a secure digital storage device and it's been given the drive letter G and the general options allow us to open the folder to view the files on the memory card or alternatively we can actually go straight to use the Windows Ready Boost functionality. So if we select this option you can see that we're presented with another dialog box and this allows us to actually configure Windows Ready Boost. You can see here we have two options at the top do not use this device and underneath use this device. So if we actually want to use Windows Ready Boost I can select this option and underneath you can see here that it indicates the space to reserve for system speed. So you can actually reserve the amount of space used on this memory card which Windows will be able to access to improve performance. So in this case I've actually got it selected at 1830 megabytes and seeing as this is a 2 gig memory card that's absolutely fine in this case. So once we're happy with this we can select OK and Windows Vista does some preparation and now Windows Ready Boost is actually working for Windows Vista. So it will actually use the extra space on that memory card to optimize the performance of Windows Vista. If we actually want to go back and reconfigure some of the options for Windows Ready Boost, it's very simple. We can go to our computer. So in this case, I'm going to go to the icon on the desktop, double click, and we're presented with the computer Windows Explorer view. And actually on the secure digital storage device, if I right click, and go down to properties at the bottom you can see we're presented with the same dialog box with the properties of the device and if we select the ready boost tab at the top you can see it takes us back to the ready boost options so if I actually want to disable this device I can select do not use this device and it will no longer use the memory card as a method of optimizing the performance of Windows Vista. Well I'm happy to actually leave this memory card in my machine for the moment and improve the performance of Windows Vista so I'm going to cancel this dialog box and close down Windows Explorer. And that ends this tutorial for taking you through the functions and features of Windows Ready Boost. Thanks for staying tuned in.